ladies and gentlemen, good day to uh, each and every one uh, of us, especially my uh, students uh, in uh, this uh, subject. Okay. So, uh, the subject that I'm going to discuss is uh, one of the uh, subject under Crime Detection and Investigation Division, one of the uh, division in uh, the Criminology Licensure Examination. Okay? And the subject that I'm going to discuss is the Fundamentals of Criminal Investigation. Okay, From the title itself, we can say that uh, it is... Uh, the most important subject in this division considering that uh, it is the basic of uh, investigation. Therefore, the uh, topics that uh, you will learn here will serve as your foundation and other advanced investigation subjects such as traffic management and accident investigation, fire technology and arson investigation. We have also drug education and vice control organized crime investigation and special crime investigation okay uh, usually some of the students say that uh, this subject is uh, one of the most difficult subject okay however it depends upon your motivation okay so uh, according to henry ford sabi niya, whether you think you can or you think you can you are right Okay, so sabi po ni Henry uh, Ford, the one who introduced the uh, mass production of motor vehicles. No? So kapag ka iniisip mo na kayang-kaya mo ang isang bagay, totoo, mangyayari po yun. Okay? O kaya kung iniisip mo na hindi mo kaya, syempre marami pong uh, dahilan. Pero kung iisipin mo na kaya mo, talagang makakaya mo kahit gaano kahirap yan. No? So it is just a matter of uh, mindset, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Ayan. So, uh, dapat i-mindset nyo, okay? sabihin nyo sa sarili nyo na kayang-kaya nyo. Madali lang. Tama? Okay. So, uh, let's start uh, this uh, subject. Okay, let us answer the uh, preliminary question. No? Based on etymology of terms, investigation was fundamentally derived from blank, which means to search or to uh, discover in English. Okay? Letter A, Latin word vestigare. Letter B, Latin word investigat. Letter C, Latin word vestigum. Or delta, French word vestigare. Okay, saan nga ba na-derive? Yung pong word na investigation. Ang ibig sabihin is to uh, search or to discover. Diba? To search something or to discover something or somebody. So, that is the Latin word investigat, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So, some sources states that uh, the word investigation was also derived from the word or Latin word vestigare or investigare, which means to track or to look into traces. Okay? So, you, it needs that you need to, or it means that uh, you need to look the traces or tracks in order to discover something. Diba? Samantalang yung Latin word investigat, which means uh, to search no? or to discover something. Okay? Then, these two may have uh, been fundamentally derived from the Latin word uh, vestigum, which means footprints. Okay? Because uh, before, via their footprints, then you can trace or track a uh, certain uh, person kung saan siya papunta. Diba? So, yun po. Kasi kung ikaw ay dumaan sa isang lugar, then you will, uh, uh, you will uh, of course, uh, uh, leave uh, traces or uh, tracks. Okay? Wherein, uh, by those tracks, you can be uh, discovered. Okay? Wherever you will uh, go. Ayan. Lalo na sa putik. Di ba? Ayan. So, in short, in etymology of the word investigation, it came from the Latin word vestigum. Then after which, the Latin word in, uh, vestigum naging investigat or investigare. Pagka investigat, anong ibig sabihin nun? To search or to discover. Or kung vestigare or investigare, ang ibig sabihin nun or to track or to look into traces, ladies and gentlemen. 
Now, what is investigation in the modern definition? What is investigation? Okay? Uh, the word investigation is very generic, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Yan. Kasi kapag uh, meron kang dinidiscover na isang bagay, okay, in order to establish the truth, that is already investigation. Pero kapag ka ang ini-establish mo is regarding a crime, it is called as criminal investigation. So, what is investigation? It has a lot of definition. Or uh, judicial or otherwise, maaaring hindi judicial, for the discovery and collection of facts. Okay? So, ano nga ba ang facts? Something that can be shown to be true concerning matters uh, involved. Ayan. So, it is an inquiry or investigation procedure, either judicial or not, for the discovery and the collection of facts concerning matters involved. Another definition, investigation is to carry out a detailed examination or inquiry, okay, usually in an official manner, to discover something or uh, somebody. Okay, when we say in an official manner, it should uh, be a... Uh, Conducted in a systematic or a scientific manner. When we say systematic or scientific, no, uh, it has uh, to uh, undergo the uh, process. Okay? So, step-by-step -step procedure, meaning to say. Yan. So, another definition of investigation, it is the process of inquiring, eliciting, soliciting, and getting vital information or facts circumstances in order to establish the truth okay so kung ang tanong what is the purpose of investigation to gather information or facts in order to establish the truth okay so kailangan mo na hanapin po yung mga totoong pangyayari okay yung mga impormasyon tungkol sa totoong pangyayari para po ma-establish mo ang katotohanan at pawang katotohanan lamang. If your inquiry is uh, regarding the establishment of facts regarding a crime, then ang tawag na doon is criminal investigation. Okay? Another definition, the act or process of investigation or the condition of being investigated. It also refers to a search or inquiry for ascertaining facts, detailed or careful uh, examination. So, kung makikita natin na uh, maraming uh, uh, definition, but uh, it has the main uh, core, okay? The main core of investigation is to get facts in order to establish the truth Ladies and gentlemen, take note, if you are trying to investigate a crime in order to establish the facts regarding that crime, okay, then ang tawag na po is called criminal investigation. Okay? However, if you are just trying to inquire on something to discover the truth, it is called investigation. Ayan po yung difference. Okay? Ayan. What are examples of things to be investigated? Ano nga ba yung mga iniimbestigahan? Okay? So, anything which facts should be ascertained and truth should be established. So, kahit anumang pangyayari, anumang bagay, no? Basta meron kang hinahanap, no? Na katotohanan or kailangan mong hanapin po yung mga impormasyon para po ma-establish mo ang katotohanan at pawang katotohanan lamang. Okay? But, sabi niya, but uh, in law enforcement point of view, especially criminal investigators, things that needs investigation are crimes. And some of the most common crimes are crimes against person. Ano nga ba yung mga crimes against person? You have uh, uh, murder, you have infanticide, homicide, yan. Uh, and uh, other no, physical injuries. You have crimes against property such as theft, robbery, carnapping, and the like. And you have also crimes against chastity. No? Like for example po, I acts of uh, 
uh, lasciviousness, ayan, so yung crimes against women po yan usually, yung crimes against chastity, and other uh, uh, other acts which are prohibited under the law. Okay, so let us discuss, uh, ladies and gentlemen, later on, the different types of uh, crimes. Yeah, so those are the examples of things to be investigated. So what is crime? Okay, in its legal definition, crime is an act committed or omitted in violation of public laws forbidding or commanding it. So there are two ways on how to incur a crime. Okay, either you have committed an act which is forbidden by public law. Okay, sa Tagalog, ginawa mo yung pong isang ipinagbabawal crime po yun. Yan. So, bawal pumatay, sabi doon, no? So, kapag ka ginawa mo yun, then definitely may crime kang nakumit. Okay? So, or you have omitted an act which is commanded by law. Pinag-uutos ng batas, then uh, hindi mo po ginawa, then yun po ay crime. Ito pong kinumit mo yung uh, isang act okay, na ipinagbabawal ng batas, ang tawag po natin dyan ay intentional felonies or intentional crime. Yun namang uh, inumit mo or hindi mo nagawa yung ipinag-uutos ng batas, ang tawag po dyan ay culpable crime, ladies and gentlemen. For example, hindi mo na-check yung preno ng sasakyan mo bago ka buma bumiyahe din na aksidente ngayon, meron ka bang uh, pananagutan? Yes. Okay, because uh, you were not able to make the act which is commanded by law bago ka nagbiyahe. Na kailangan i-check mo muna yung sasakyan. Okay? In its social definition, crime refers to an act which does not conform to the norms and standards of the society. Ayan. So, kapag ka sa ating society or ang ating society ang nag-define, lahat ng mga gawain na hindi po tugma doon po sa nakaugalian ay considered as a crime sa ating mata. For example, yung pong isang, uh, isang lalaki na ginahasa yung kanyang kalabaw sa gitna ng kanyang uh, uh, farm or 10 hectares uh, farm, then, sa ating pananaw, yung po ay hindi po katanggap-tanggap. So, we can consider that as a crime based on uh, the societal definition or sociological definition of crime. But legally, he is not uh, criminally liable. Kasi unang-una, private property kung saan niya ginawa, yung pong uh, panggagahasa sa kalabaw niya, kalabaw niya rin yun, private property niya, yan, then definitely there is no crime that was committed. But in the eyes of the public, the act of that person does not conform with uh, the uh, standards of the uh, society. Okay? So, ganun po yon mga kapangarap. So, ganun din po yung pong uh, primarital uh, sex, yung nagsisex na hindi pa kayo kasal. Yan, di ba? It does not conform to the norms and standards of the society. So, based on the sociological definition of crime, that can be considered as a crime. Okay? Then, uh, there are uh, different types of crime based on law punishing such. Okay? Crime which are uh, in violation of the Revised Penal Code of the Philippines or Act Number 3815, which is the primary source of our criminal law, Pagka yun po ang na-violate, it is called a felony. Okay? Then, offense ang tawag naman, if an act or omission is punishable by existing special penal laws. It is the form of crime which is defined and punished by special penal law. Ano ba yung mga special penal law, ladies and gentlemen? Okay? You have presidential decrees. You have batas pambansa. Okay, you have uh, special orders and the most common is yung pong Republic Act. Okay? Yung pong uh, felony is punishable by Organic Act number 3815. Okay? So that is, uh, pagka yung 3815 ang na-violate, that is called uh, felony. Okay? Ayan.
Then another type of crime is called misdemeanor, okay, or infractions. Yeah, misdemeanor or infraction. It refers to a light felony or light offense that is punishable by a small fine or short period of imprisonment in jail. An act or omission in violation of city or municipal ordinance or ordinances. So ang tawag po doon, misdemeanor or infractions of city or municipal ordinances. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yan, I hope uh, that uh, the type of crime are clear to you based on law, punishing such. You have uh, felony, you have offense, and uh, misdemeanor. Okay, next question. Illegal acts committed by business and professional people with high status while earning their living are classified as letter A, crime mala inse. B. Blue collar crimes. C. White collar crimes. And Delta crime mala prohibita. Okay. So what do you call the illegal acts which is committed by business and professional people? Yan. Oh, that is called as white collar crimes. That is according to the definition of white collar crime based on the definition of Edwin Sutherland, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yan. However, based on the definition of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, as long as the crime involves the use of fraud or deceit, panluloko at panlilin lang ang ginamit mo, then definitely that is considered as white-collar crime. Example po ng mga white-collar crimes are Ponzi, yan. Uh, you have pyramid scam, uh, you have uh, Investment is scam, yeah, odometer fraud, and the like. Okay, in short, pag sinabing white collar crime ang ginamit mo ay galing at talino, yeah, para ikaw ay magkapera. Ano naman po yung crime mala inse? Crime mala inse are those acts which are wrong from the very beginning, and usually these are punishable under our revised penal code. Yung pung crime mala inse, for example. Bawal pong pumatay, di ba? Mali na po yun. Kahit sa Biblia, mali na po yun sa ating constitution and sa ating criminal law. Okay? So, it is very wrong from the uh, uh, very beginning. It is wrong from the eyes of God, from the eyes of the people, and it is wrong legally. So, these are crime mala inse. Okay? Then, you have here blue-collar crimes. It is a crime wherein you have gained something through crime involving the use of violence. So, ang ginamit mo naman, may nakuha ka na pera, okay, uh, sa pamamagitan ng lakas ng katawan, hindi po talas ng isipan. Kabaliktaran po ito ng white-collar crime, ladies and gentlemen. Then, we have here crime mala prohibita. These are acts which are wrong because uh, they are merely prohibited by law. Okay? So, meron bang mga mali dahil ito'y pinagbabawal ng batas? Yes, marami po ang crime mala prohibita. For example po ay yung pong illegal possession of firearms and ammunition. Hindi naman simulat sa full pa lang ay mali na po yun, no? Pero dahil may batas na nagbabawal po doon, kaya po nagiging mali. Kapag ka may hawak-hawak po yung civilian, wala pong lisensya na humawak ng barrel. Then there is a crime that was committed. Ganon din po ang illegal illegal possession of dangerous drugs, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so when we say crime mala prohibita, these acts are wrong because they are merely prohibited by law. At ang maganda pa dito sa crime mala prohibita ay mas madaling makonvict po yung pung mga offenders. Basta hindi po uh, na-violate yung pong karapatan ng offender, then madali pong makonvict. Okay? Why? Kasi pagka crime mala inse, the intent should always be proven in court. Unlike sa crime mala prohibita, intent need not to be proven. No? Because the mere act is already the one which is punishable. So, bakit ko po dinidiscuss yung iba't ibang klase ng crime, ladies and gentlemen? Because it is or these are the things to be investigated by law enforcement uh, officers, especially yung mga criminal investigators. If there is no crime, okay, 
that was committed, then definitely the criminal investigation should not uh, commence. Di ba? So, walang crime eh. Yan, di ba? Yan. So, nabanggit natin kanina no, sa definition ng investigation, it is the discovery of facts in order to establish the truth. Ano nga ba ang facts naman? Okay, facts is something that can be shown to be true. Okay, to exist or to have happened. Yan, yung pong facts, yung pong maipapakita mo na totoo. Ah, o kaya ito po ay nangyari. At ano kaya ang... Uh, pamamaraan para maipakita yung isang bagay na totoo sa pamamagitan po ng evidence. Di ba? So, uh, it is an action or event or circumstance or something that has uh, done. It uh, can be explained further by distinguishing it from inference and opinion. So, what is inference? Okay, inference is the process of reasoning by which fact may be deduced. Diyan po pwedeng manggaling po ang uh, mai... Uh, Diyan po sa inference, okay, kung ano say inference, ay pwede pong uh, uh, patunayan yung katotohanan sa pamamagitan ng inference dahil meron pong tinatawag na evidence. Okay? So, it is a conclusion drawn from evidence or reasoning. Okay? For example, bakit mo nasabi ang isang bagay? Dahil may nakita ka. Di ba? So, yun po. No? Nakita mo si Pedro, hawak-hawak po ang kutsilyo, tapos nakita mo na itinatusok na ito sa kanyang biktima. Okay? So, that is inference kasi may nakita ka. Pero kung salita ka ng salita, siguro namatay si Pedro dahil uh, sinaksak. Yan po ay opinion lamang. Okay, ano ang opinion? Personal belief. Wala ka namang nakita pero salita ka ng salita. That is called opinion, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Pero kung nagsalita ka uh, dahil meron kang nakita, meron kang narinig, okay? You have just stated a certain thing because uh, you have used your, or you have perceived something using your five senses, it is called as inference. Okay, so what is uh, evidence? Something that gives a sign or proof of the existence of, or existence, or truth of something, or that helps somebody to come up to a particular conclusion. Okay? So, evidence gives a sign of proof. So, ano nga ba ang, uh, uh, ang pamamaraan para mapatunayan na nag-exist yung isang pangyayari sa pamamagitan po ng evidence? Okay? It is the means sanctioned by the law in ascertaining a judicial proceeding respecting a matter of fact. Ayan. So, ito po yung uh, pamamaraan na nakasaad po sa ating revised uh, rules no, of uh, evidence sa, ng uh, uh, ito po yung ginagamit uh, na nakasaad sa revised rules on evidence sa pagpapatutuo Okay, sa isang pangyayari. Okay, para mapatotohanan yung pong pinapatuha, pinapatotohanan sa korte. Yung po ang evidence. Yan, so, ebidensya. Okay, so ito po yung ginagamit na pag, ah, ginagamit para mapatunayan ang isang pangyayari. ba? Diba? So, ito po yung sinasabi ni Gas Abelgas na gamit ang sensya. Okay, logika. Ebidensya at pagkamaparaan ating aalamin kung ano nga ba ang nangyari. Okay, so maraming maraming salamat ladies and gentlemen for listening to the first part of the subject, Fundamentals of Criminal Investigation. Once again, I'm yours truly. Uh, ang iyong uh, kapangarap, kabalitaan at kakampi, Sami Bengwasan na uh, est. Okay. okay, so please tune in guys for uh, the uh, next uh, video presentation for this subject. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, then uh, click the bell button, then after clicking the bell button on our YouTube channel, then click all so that you will be updated in the uh, succeeding upload of the continuation of the topic 
Fundamentals of Criminal Investigation. Thank you and God bless us all.